Uh, welcome back. We didn't have enough with John Company because it ended, so we're playing King is Dead. Uh, and I've never played it in 2v2 before, so this will be new for me. I haven't played it at all. Indeed. So, John, you were going to give us a quick overview? Yeah, yeah. So, since we're playing four player. Oh, I didn't do my uh, intro we at all. A, we, <laughs> <laughs> we're sampling game. We're sampling King is Dead. <laughs> Uh, so we'll be sitting across the table from our partner in the game and essentially your followers in your court will be totaled up. So Lily and I will combine our followers uh, to determine who wins. Uh, although we don't coordinate. So the way that you play, you're, you're not negotiate or not negotiating, but you're not, um, you're not working together and talking through it. You're really just playing your own game, um, but really just trying to read the board. Gotcha. Read the board and act accordingly. Um, so basically the way that it works is each of the cubes represents the followers of one of the three main factions that are vying for control of England. And they are Welsh, which is red, English, which is yellow, and Scottish is blue. And they each have a home country that matches their color. So English, uh, that their home is Essex. Gwyneth is uh, where the... Welsh come from, and then, uh, what is that? What is that? Moray. Moray. Yeah, that's a Moray. <laughs> All right, we got it out of our systems. We don't need to yeah. say it ever again. Okay. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> so, so just to give you a really quick idea of how it works, is that every turn you're going to you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to play a card, resolve the effect of the card and then take a cube from somewhere off of the map and put it into your court. The other option is to pass. So you have both of those options available every time it comes around to you. We're just going to go in a circle um, in terms of turn, or, tor, turn order. So if you pass, the next time it comes back around to you, you can still play a card. If all four of us pass in sequence, then we will do a power struggle, resolve a power struggle, which starts with these cards. So you can see the cards along the edge. That's the order that we're going to resolve power struggles as as they happen. So the first one that we're going to do is in uh, Devon down here. Uh, if we were to do it right now, there's two red, one blue, one yellow. That would mean that Welsh wins the power struggle and then has control. The cubes come off of the board. And that really there's nothing that you can do with that territory once it's been resolved with a disc. Now, if we get to a power struggle and there isn't a dominant faction, such as in Warwick here, there's two blue and two yellow. If we resolve the power struggle in that case, the French are standing over here, creepily looking on, and it resolves as instability, uh, as a French invasion. And if that happens, obviously it comes off just like that. If the it instantly, when the third instability disc hits the board, hits the map, then the game ends, and we resolve really the alternate win condition, which is right here, which is the invasion. And the winner, in the case of an invasion, is the team that has the most sets of all three colors in your, in your combined courts. And those, uh, those can be like... Like if one of you had, or uh, let's see. Yeah, so you and Lily could make one complete set, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's so not. pools are combined. You pool the pools. Yeah. So. Sorry, and when you said you take one off of the map and put it in your court, that's from anywhere or? From anywhere on the map. So there's okay. really actually quite a few, or there's very few restrictions on what you can do when you play the card. Um, but there's no restrictions on, so you can actually put a cube down and then take it right back to your court. So there's no restrictions on which cubes you can take after you've resolved a card. Now, if the card can't be resolved, meaning there's no valid play, you still play the card and you still take the cube, you just don't actually resolve the card. So let's look at what all the cards do. So there's three of them that are basically the same, one for each faction, a support card, 
And what this, this is probably the more complicated of all of them. So what you're going to do is place two of that color into a, a region adjacent to a region that has a control disc of that color. So if there's a control disc here, then I can put two here, here, or here. If there are none, then the only valid places that you can put it are adjacent to the home country. Is it so not, if is it it not the English. home country? Is it not into the home country? It's adjacent to the home country? It's adjacent to the home country. Cool. So Essex, if it's English, you can go into Devon, Warwick, or Northumbria. Obviously, you can see Gwyneth. Interestingly, Moray only has one territory that's adjacent to it. So um, if there's no blue cubes out when you play your Scottish support, um, the only place you can go is Strathclyde. So again, you'll play the card, and then you pull a cube from anywhere off the map. And also, so just so you know, when you play the cards, you stack them so that the only card that can be seen is the top card. Next card is, we have two of them, that's called the Assemble. And the Assemble, basically you put one of each color in any three territories in any combination. You can put them all in the same territory, all three in different territories, doesn't matter. Same thing, once you play the card, you take a cube. Then there are the, or the maneuver and the out maneuver, which essentially, if we look at the maneuver, it's switch two cubes from any two territories. They don't have to be adjacent. Uh, the one rule with the maneuver card is that you cannot use a maneuver to directly undo what somebody else just did with their maneuver. Meaning there, ha there has to be at least one action between them playing the maneuver and that maneuver being undone by somebody else. Yeah. Okay. And the uh, factions that can be moved for those two cards are any? Yeah. Yeah. Which is the represented by the gray. Gotcha. And what's nice on the card is it because the image actually shows you that these two don't need to be adjacent. But if you do the out maneuver, which is switch two with one, they do have to be adjacent. Same rule applies. You can't just undo it with your own maneuver, with your own out maneuver card. And it is specific to each of those two cards, meaning you can use an out maneuver to undo what somebody did with a maneuver. Um, you just can't not... use an out maneuver on an out maneuver or a maneuver. Yeah, exactly. Maneuver. Yeah. Yep. The last card that you have is negotiate. And what that allows you to do is switch the position of any two of these cards along the outside of the board. Once you've done that, you take your negotiation disc and you put it on the territory that you are going to lock in and say, this one can't be moved. So nobody else can come in and move that one once you've put your white disc on it. Do you put it on either of the two that you moved or does it have to be one of the two? Yeah, it has to be on one of the two that you move. But I mean, is, like, that a one is, it, is there a, something determining which one of the two you choose or can you just pick either one, I'm asking? Oh yeah, just either one. Okay. Which, whichever one you want to lock in in terms of like, I don't want anybody to be able to move this again. Um, so actually at the end, at, at some point, um, it may not actually do anything, but that's one of the actions. So can you only play that once per game or do you just not get to use the white, white disc on subsequent uses? Oh, all cards are once yeah. per game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's actually one of the <laughs> key things that's so great about this game is that every card only is used once. So you only uh, essentially have eight turns, but obviously there's going to be passing. So I think the next thing to do is look at the two win conditions. The most common is the coronation. And I don't know if we want to go through the tiebreakers right now, or if you just want to look at them as you're going through the game. I but think that probably that makes more sense. Look at okay. as they go through the game. But yeah, go ahead and talk about coronation. So we resolve coronation after all eight territories have resolved their power struggle. And the, ter or the faction that has the most discs out on the board is the, uh, the winner the winning faction. Uh, if there are two that have the same number, the tiebreaker is always the faction that most recently won a power struggle. So then we just go back to the card and see, okay, who won the last one? So we actually end up putting the discs on this board as we figure that out. And the team that has the most cubes of that faction 
in their court win. And then the tiebreakers are, the first tiebreaker is the ones, um, sorry, the, the team with the most followers of the second most dominant faction. And then the third tiebreaker, the second tiebreaker is, um, what is it? Whoever. Player who first played all their cards. Yeah. So you give up a lot of control to get your cards first out, out first. Um, but it's the tiebreaker. And then on, we did look at the invasion. There's a tiebreaker for that one as well. So if, if, if we both have ultimately the same number of sets of three, all three colors, the tiebreaker is the player who most recently played a, an action card. And the reason John is making a point of mentioning these is because this game is really a game of the tiebreakers. Yeah. It's, you're, you're determining which of the two end triggers it's going to be, coronation or invasion, and then you're pretty much playing to the tiebreakers because rarely are you going to get a straight clean win from the primary condition. Yeah, because everybody can read the board and see what's going on and which followers you have in your court. So, uh, we need a way... Do you have the uh, Candyland oh. first player? Yeah, I can spot it for me just a moment. Give me one second. I will be back in just a moment. Sure. Hey, Lily wins. <laughs> Lily never wants to win. Oh, actually, these Hi. these uh are in counterclockwise order. If we just wanted to play counter counterclockwise, monstrosity. Or or not, or not. Doesn't make a difference to me. I am bad just season. Hmm. Needs those UI elements pushed up just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> so the first territory that is up for power struggle is Devon. Okay. Which would, if we were to resolve a power struggle right now, would go to the Welsh. Or Red. Okay. Which Lily and currently you, likes. You have two. Yeah, we, we're the only team that has any red, so at the moment. Okay. Um, so, sh so there's any eight action cards? Uh... Sorry, and what's like, what, how much communication are you? your teammate or is it just all reading the board state to determine the best option for the two of you i think it's up to us since it's a teaching game i usually encourage a lot of uh, over the table communication just just so everybody like i mean you say that but the rule book more richly i'm looking at the rule book right now and it does say you are not allowed to discuss tactics or strategies with your teammate and you cannot show each other action cards Tactics or strategies, they cover all their board games. Yeah, board yeah they, they covered both their bases. <laughs> both their bases. <laughs> um, gosh, I really wish someone else had gone first because I still am having a little trouble reading the iconography on these cards. Um, I mean, if we want to switch that up, bye bye, you can go first. That team can go first. Yeah, it's not a huge deal. Like so, yeah. yeah so if, if, yeah, if we can do that, I just, I like I said, I kind of want to see it in action because like, yeah. I learned better that way. <laughs> yeah, because then both of you will get to go before us on our team, so we have an idea of what's going on a little better, maybe. Well, in this in this case, I will pass. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm.
Um, oh, are these supposed to be over here? Or are they supposed to be in Oh, they the... should be in the supply. Yeah, yeah that's right. That. Supply. This game is agonizing. I will No, no, we're addicts, John. We're addicts. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to uh, frame the narrative with different language. Uh... I'm going to... Play my Welsh support into Warwick. And then I'm going to take a red cube from Devon. Okay. So when you place, you place from the supply? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So once they go once they've gone to court, they are off the tape. They are off the board. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> we'll each have we we'll each have ten cubes in our court. That sigh is the perfect encapsulation of this game. It's just there's there's a lot of wickets and they're all extremely sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I want to do this too. Um, we'll see if this is the right decision or not later. Okay. I put two in Devon and then took one from Gwynedd. Gwynedd. I'm told it's Gwyneth, actually. Gwyneth. That was from Drew. Well, yeah, because well, the Welsh D's are like that, right? I believe you. Well, Welsh is the consonant. The consonants are all kinds of strange, <laughs> from what I understand about Welsh. Um, <laughs> what pretend to know? <laughs> oh. Let's see. I just realized that the one night that we finally managed to start the stream, like sort of on time, we ended the stream super early. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to assemble. Avenger style um, or Voltron style? Mm, uh, no, Johnny Five style. We're going to reassemble. Mm. <laughs> um, a Englishman in Essex. 
as is their want. And a Welsh into Moray. And then what cube would you like to take? Oh, right. Yeah, you get to do that. You get a share. Huh. Games with cubes. We are going to take... Uh, we're going to take Scottish out of Essex. Interesting. <laughs> I <laughs> I'm going to pass. So wait, after a region is scored, are they removed from the game or are they're they putting put the supply? Back? They're putting the supply. Okay. Right? That's right, right? I didn't just make that up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's right. Okay. I'm gonna pass. Oh. Hmm. I will. I will also pass. That resolves our first power struggle. So a red disc comes out. Oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> and then it goes back to me since I was next. Yep. And Warwick is next for power struggle. I'm going to pass. It's me first. Russians, if they're tied again. If they're tied, I'm France. Just to, I'm just trying to think. France will invade, basically. Okay. Hmm. This, this game. So clever. The cubes. I'm going to play negotiate, swapping Warwick with Lancaster, putting my disc on Warwick, and what does that do? Uh, now the next card up for judgment is Lancaster, and Warwick cannot <laughs> be moved by anyone else. Uh, I'm going to take a red from Lancaster. So you're up, Lily. So uh, I'm getting there's. So, how many of each cube? 17? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Let me check. 18. 18 of each. Okay. Good 
the symbol. <laughs> that, was, that a, was, that a, was that an accurate enough? Uh... <laughs> it was perfect. Oh, uh, that was. Can you take from a place you just put down or no? Yeah. Oh. Um. Oh wow, turns are on. It's been on me the whole. It's been on me the whole time, and I just forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured we were playing without them. Let's see. Well, I'm just at this. I will pass. I too shall pass. I'm going to Trying to read Mango's mind and isn't working. I'll do a maneuver. I'm going to move. Actually, you know what? Take it back. Nope. Back to the plan. Uh, we're going to maneuver. We're going to move Scottish follower into Moray and a Welsh into Lancaster. And we will take Scottish follower from Gwyneth.
I will pass. I should unmute first. <laughs> Usually a good idea. All I said was, I'm going to, and then trailed off. <laughs> Perfect. So, um, hmm. I'm going to outmaneuver. Oh. And one, um, we're going to move. These two from Northumberland here. Move a Welsh in its place. And we're going to take a Welsh follower. All right. I will play Welsh support. Hmm. Is the uh, number of, well, I guess, yeah, the number of cards in hand slash the number of cards played by any one player is, is meant to be public information? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's very easy to tell in TTS, less so in real life. Also, table. I mean, you can also see how many hands are, how many cards in the hand, too. Well, yeah. I'm going to pass. I will pass. <laughs> this is war again, yes, yes. Going to maneuver. Going to uh, put a skies from Cyclade into Lancaster and swap it with that guy. And then we will take. Another Welsh from Lancaster. Don't like that. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm gonna play an outmaneuver. <laughs> hmm. It's a tough one. I'll take it Scottish. Hmm. I'm going to pass. Mango is just sitting there like that motherfucker. <laughs> also pass. So, Garrick, where did you where did you play? I passed. Oh, you passed. Okay. And then I joked that you were cussing me out for it. <laughs> Joked. <laughs> yes, joke. <laughs> Content. Content. Our, our last King is Dead stream was just like this. It was just like an hour and a half of us sitting in silence playing the game and like going the whole time. And I, I got a bunch so of hard, cause like it's so much thoughts in your head. I know, I know. It's an agonizing game. But it was hilarious because our stream was like that. And then I got a bunch of positive comments on YouTube from people being like, thanks for showing this game. It was really fun to watch. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who enjoyed the stream? <laughs> I think people actually don't like hearing us talk. Ah, that makes no. I I understand that. <laughs> Crewmeister's been joking that somebody needs to make a supercut of all the like contemplative noises that we've made on on stream. I do it. <laughs> supercut of Mango swearing. <laughs> 
just make one for each person and we should get our own little individual thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all 15 seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much we're talking. There's one. Oh, Lady, did you pass? Oh, was it my turn? <laughs> I, I thought I hit that button a while ago. I just looked up and noticed the button was still on you. Um, oh, sorry. No, I thought I hit that one a while ago. All right, I passed. <laughs> oh, it seems to be my turn. Uh, did you not pass, John? Uh, no, I was. I played this right, uh, outmaneuver, right, right. and then you. So all three of you have passed. Yes. yes. I will also pass. Okay. And then it's my turn. Yep. And we go to Moray. I will pass. Playing cards is for suckers. <laughs> says it says the players on the team who have played the most i know <laughs> that means we're winning right i mean if i understand anything about card games yes <laughs> which i don't i am bleeding making me the victor <laughs> i'm in danger <laughs> Wait, yeah, it's your turn. Yeah, and I passed, so it was Lily's turn. Clearly, I didn't have to know it was my turn until I heard that noise. Eighty percent of this game is trying to figure out whose turn it is. I'm discovering this. <laughs> I think um, does this white marker negotiation just go away ever? No, no, this is locked forever. Warwick will never move. Oh, okay. What is this room that we're in, by the way? Uh. Oh yeah, I remember this. We were we were looking around at this uh, after our last oh, the game. Room. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember room. this. You don't remember this? Yeah, we we were oh, like been, looking around I've been it. In this room before. I don't know why I've been in this room before, but I've been in this room before. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna do something weird. Sure. Oh, that's very happy to hear that. Okay, I'm done. Oh, are you passing, Mingo? Sorry, realized I was muted. I am passing. Yep, got it. <laughs> I'm gonna play that's out why, my, that's why I'm I gonna play a uh, my machine. Negotiate. You cannot change this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take one out of Moray. Um, I'm going to play out maneuver. Move these two in here. Move this over here. And I'm going to take a yellow from Strathclyde. I'm 
Okay. That all happened so fast. This game's so friggin' clever. I'm going to but am I though? Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass. I will pass. Um. I, yeah. So it's up to you to not score, score, not score, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and pass. So what the negotiation disc is just it. It doesn't matter anymore. There. Yeah. Yeah. On to Mori. With Lily. Yes, me. Knows what they're doing. Oh, I don't want to think. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to Not for mine. The supply. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> that one in there. Just red, red, red individual in there. Throw this yellow one. And. Northumbria. I'm going to take a Welsh follower out of Gwen Gwyneth. Yep, that's how that goes. I don't know if that's correct. <laughs> there is no correct. <laughs> but it is what it is. You're passing, John? Yep. I will pass. Uh, so right now, if it was to resolve, it would be Francis? Yes, it would mm -hmm. get an instability disc. Okay. I will pass. Um, so that pa that's, that's a pass to me then, yes? Yeah. yeah. Is it going to resolve? Or not? Well, 
Yes, yes, it is. I will pass. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On to Moray. We've put it off long enough. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody still has a negotiation. <laughs> Somebody does. <clears throat> English support. <laughs> Nailed it. I'm going to play an assemble. Put a red in here, a blue in here, a yellow in here, and I'll take a yellow from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see where it's, it's it's important to remember what's been played. Try to remember which cards have been played. Yeah, like negotiations of and of. It's it's only a matter of remembering who hasn't played. Which isn't too difficult. Mm -hmm. Or isn't as difficult, I guess I should say. That being said. We're going to play... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, was it passed? Is it, is it passed to me? Is it, does it score if I pass? Who played last? Uh, I believe Garrick did. Yeah, I played an assemble. You played an assemble. Um, okay, I'm going to make this someone else's problem.
I'm going to play uh, Maneuver. The hand management of this to me feel like just in like the way it feels in my head feels similar to Gloomhaven, like trying to figure out what cards to lose. Yeah, because <laughs> it's play. the same way that it's like, it's ever decreasing, like ever diminishing. It's a, it's a race to the right. bottom. Right, it's a reduce, reduce, yeah. And it's, yeah, reduced decision pool. And it's in the, like, where's the maximum potential to play this card? Mm -hmm. Like, feeling. I'm going to play an assemble. I'm going to play blue in Moray, the red in Moray, the yellow in Warwick, and I'll take a yellow from there. Kremeister, I think the premise is that the king died, and now we're carving up the kingdom. Is that the premise of the game? Yeah. 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 So yes, I don't know that we're carving it up. I, um, my understanding was that they're it's vying for control support. of all of it. But I thought they were like gathering yeah. support for the new king. Got right. it. Got it. That's also but I mean, isn't that not how kings work? <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I guess a king with no heir. I don't know. I haven't played CK three yet. It's been a long time since I've dealt with uh, medieval inheritance laws. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass. I'm a little rusty on the, the legality of royal succession. <laughs> oh, Garrick was last to play yet again, right? Yep. Yet again. Um... It's so hard not to say anything strategic or tactical. Right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like I, yeah, like I kind of keep yeah, forgetting more in team sometimes. We're also, we're also definitely on the same. Like I'm hurting, hurting Bobot. 
definitely feel the well, it's best like a, it's like playing bridge, right? Like you got to play with somebody. Oh, yeah. I imagine if you have like someone you know well, this would be much better at this. <laughs> um. I have not seen that Crewmeister. I've never. I've only played this twice, and I've not seen anyone play all their cards turn one. That said, I think both games everyone played like two or three cards turn one. Maybe that was just last game. I don't remember. I haven't noticed a clear pattern in, in like playing cards early versus playing cards late. Like it hasn't been consistently one or the other. Yeah, Crewmeister, it would be very <laughs> foolish to place all your cards turn one. Because uh, there's no way you can do it to create like a dominant situation where you can then just pass for the rest of the game and be fine. The I game. mean, if you, if you manage to pull that off, it's like shooting the moon. I don't even think it's possible. This game's too tight for that, you know? Turns out after the game that all of my banal comments were secretly coded messages to Mingo. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting for this moment for years. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to negotiate. I'm going to swap these two. Not that it matters, but I'll put my bead on Northumbria. And I will take a Welsh out of Warwick. Very clever. Very clever you are. <laughs> Is it though? Like, I, I was hoping it was, but I'm not really sure of it. It surprised uh, me. I will say that. <laughs> I'll play a, an assemble. Send them to Moray to die. I will pass. Oh my goodness, Lily has four cards. <laughs> Wait, if there's not two here, can I still do it? No, that's the supply. Can I still do the card? Oh, uh, yeah, I think you do as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you just grab the one. The question wasn't if that was the supply, the question was can I still do it? <laughs> Sorry, there's a way to interpret that as in can I still place two? And the answer is no, you cannot place no. two, but you can... Play the card. Yeah, Play the that card. Was my question. Okay. No, I'm just leaving people to die. Obviously. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know what that actually was, but the way it, like it was like a thunk and then sort of like a reverberation of the thunk, it reminded me of the law and order, like dung dung. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, crewmaster, you didn't miss much. John Company, you, if you left at turn two, John Company, you missed ten minutes of John Company. <laughs> Uh, how many? How many Welsh? Are there? there are four Welsh in Warwick. John, your hand is in there, but I think I see another one. Yeah, there's four. Oh, sorry. You're good. <laughs> John doing the sneaky strats of like putting your hand over the regions. Totally. We're going to play Scottish support and I will use it. To take the English follower out of Moray. I'm going to pass. I'll also pass. I will also pass. And I will pass as well. Okay. Okay, so no more negotiates, right? Nope, that's it. Yeah, getting down to the wire. Play Scar support <laughs> and So what you you took a uh, English? A yellow. An English, yeah. Yeah, English. I'll play Scottish support and take a Welsh out of there, out of Warwick. I have a dumb question. Sure. For like the maneuver and outmaneuver cards, can you use them to move the same color? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And what did you take? Oh, I didn't take anything. I should take something. You, in fact, you have, have to. to. <laughs> Your sleight of hand of exchanging blues with blues. 
just confused me. <laughs> Confusing people. I'm gonna take this blue. Oh, well, that changes <laughs> everything. <laughs> Confused. Confused as I am. Um, so we need we should probably track the last three. We have to like we need to track which ones won the power struggle, right? In the event of a three-way tie. We'll know. Because we can just look in the territory where the disc is. Yeah. Oh, right. That's right. There's no yes, the state is very clear. Yep. <laughs> okay. So the answer is yes, but only because that's what we already do anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um I'm going to do Welsh support. Place these two Welsh into Moray. And take. Uh, I don't think that's legal. It isn't legal. You're absolutely correct. We had in Strathclyde. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. <laughs> and I will take. A Welsh follower out of Warwick. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, all I can place <laughs> is a yellow. And that's your last card? Mm hmm. So they've got that tiebreaker. On you, Lily. You mean me? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't I get a turn, John? I know you get a turn. You I'm just saying it's all, it's it's all on me her. for our team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope I hope you understand uh, his overarching strategy here. Uh, you know, like 20 minutes before the game actually ends. Well, I mean, I have two cards, and y'all have less than that. <laughs> well, not together. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've, already, I've already mathed it out, and as long as you do the perfect strategy, you'll win. I, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to check for coordination. Uh, I just checked the rule book. It's the team that first played all their action cards, not the player. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, so you're saying there's oh, a Oh. Well. Ooh, that's a good question. No, I just checked the rule book. That's I, what it says. I, 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 oh, it does say team? Yeah. Oh, so all so both of us have to have, have used all of our cards for that tiebreaker to apply. Correct. Yes. Well, I guess it's gotta be perfect then. Because we don't have that tiebreaker. I'm going to pass. So you so you placed a yellow and took the yellow, right, John? Yes. I'm going to pass. I will pass as well. More A's resolved. I mean, the yeah.
Wait, that would mean that Garrick passed too from ready to resolve, right? I had passed, yeah. He had passed already. Right. John played his last card, then I passed, Lily passed, you passed, and then Jan John can't do anything, so he auto passes. Don't yeah. take away my autonomy. He I chose to pass. <laughs> <laughs> he just chose he chose one turn ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I say, I think we have this if we play it perfectly. But what if we both play it perfectly? Mm -hmm. I don't like this pressure. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. This is rough. I'm going to play English support. Putting two followers in there. And I will take one out. Does this symbol have to be on three different territories? No, nope. it can, be, the it can same. be all the same if you want. Yeah. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter since red. There's no any red in the thing, but curious. Um. Do the same. I will play English support. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's what we both had. <laughs> I will put that here and take an English follower from here. All right, back to Lily. Well, they have the tiebreaker. Damn. I can't do anything about that. 
<laughs> uh, well, you can uh, have it not end in a tie. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> uh, <sighs> I had to take a yellow cue. Uh, I couldn't have because I didn't know what he had. I should have waited. Yeah, I don't know what cards you have left. I will, I will say that. <laughs> My choice was something of a gamble. You want to see something really funny? Here, sorry, <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. So I don't think there's anything I knew can was, do. I knew it was a support. I didn't know which. I don't think there's anything I can do because no matter what, this goes to y to yeah. That's English, and that's the only no matter what. Yeah. yeah. So English English is dominant no matter what happens, right. and, and and we tie. So that that gives you guys the that gives you guys the win since you have the tiebreaker. Correct. No, because most followers of the second most power end up being the English. Well, that would be if there was a tie between the most. The most well, let's play, two, yeah. I mean, let's play it no, out, whichever, I, whichever one you want to score. My, yeah, <laughs> no, my, my, what I wanted to do, but I was scared of, was I should have done the English first, and then I could have tied it and let France take over, and that would have given it to us. And that was my bad. I don't think I can. There's any way I can do it now. What were you saying you could do? Could have done. If I had, if I had played English support here and then pushed it, and like taken away as much English as I possibly could have. Uh, so instead of taking a red, I should have taken an English support. Um, and then, no matter what, we'd either be a step ahead of you because we could get to eight to break, prevent the tie. Yeah. Or. Or I could have sent it to France and tied that straight. Because if both the last two went to France, then France wins, and so we go to the other uh, other victory condition, which we also win. So that, I should have played the safer one. I don't know why I thought this was safer. But yeah, I don't think there's a way I can pull it now because there's a lot a lot of information coming at you. But this game, <laughs> that's yeah, why. But this game's a lot. Yeah, I still could have balanced it by not taking the red. Because I should have seen y'all were going to both take... Because after Garrick took yellow, like, I had to take yellow to, to, yeah. to even it, and I didn't. Like, if then that was that was my biggest mistake, was thinking that, like... I think that was the losing decision. Because I was sitting here thinking if... my losing decision. If you like, take... I, I shouldn't have taken red. Like, yeah. If I take yellow, then it's, it was just guaranteed, so it wouldn't have mattered. I'm mad at myself now. Why does it always come down to one decision? Because this game is like that. We play a lot of I games like it. that. <laughs> I hate it. Well, I can't do anything, so I'm going to just tie it up and end it because I don't think there's any other decisions I can make that would. Yep. So. Uh, yeah, there's no other decision I can make that actually make any difference. So Strathide goes to Strathclyde goes to yellow. Mm -hmm. And then Warwick goes to France. Uh, yellow has the most kingdoms, so it is dominant. And then... Red is next. Or France. France isn't a real kingdom. For this purpose. <laughs> I, 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 that to so, I, I won't. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, and then the most powerful faction is yellow. We have... Uh, seven. I think. Yeah, we have seven. And then... And then it goes... To second most powerful. And we have, like, eight. Yeah, then it eight. goes eight to our seven. Eight to seven. Right, yeah, that's what I say. I think we win on that. Yeah. Yeah. We win on both of those tiebreakers. And that's King is Dead. And, and that's Dallas. <laughs>
You might want to grab your reading glasses, John. No, you might want to grab your. Your TV well, it's set. not on Netflix anymore. You might want to grab your Pod yeah Pack Plus subscription. Whatever it's on for that uh, late season episode of The Office. Oh, is that what it's a reference to? I've never seen more than one season of The Office. Last for me. <laughs> Sorry, I take it back. I've seen a season and a half. I thought it got worse in the second season. Oh, no, that watching. totally saved you. That You totally redeemed yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's King is Dead. It's a, it's a terrific little game. It's, for how light and simple it is, it is so dang thinky. And then, to make it even more fun, there's this uh, set of 12 unique cards that you basically, when you play with these, you get three random cards in replacement of your three support cards. And so everybody's hand is different. So you don't know what everybody else has. <clears throat> well, that's cool. My, my gut kind of says that the game is better the way it is, with everyone having the same stuff and being able to, to know what people have played and what they have. Mm-hmm. Because that's just so brilliant, you know? It's, uh, it's, it's no luck. There's no randomness to it. I've played it a couple times with the cunning, and I don't know, it's good. It's it, just not familiar yet. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure it's still great. Because uh, this game is great. I don't know. What do you guys think, Mango and Lily? Oh, I like that. It's um, yeah. You say like if you know that that memory aspect of the game, I find a bit difficult yeah. to play. But remember, you can usually remember a couple because I remember Lily had already played her blue support for sure. So I knew she had a red or a yellow left. So I think I had both of those bases covered, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm not typically a huge fan of hidden trackable information, but I think this game might barely get away with it for me. I'm still just mad at myself. So. <laughs> well... I like how I like how we're playing on a table, and then there's a table in the room that we're playing. That we're <laughs> that table's us. not floating in midair, though. It's not nearly. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> like, why don't we just play on that table? <laughs> there's a perfectly fine table over there. <laughs> well, I guess I better shut down the stream. Uh, thanks guys, and thanks everyone for watching. This was just a impromptu late night King is Dead since somebody ended John Company so quickly. Won't name names. Eric. Oh, John. Eric. <laughs> I'll name names. I have no issue. I mean, you could definitely blame that to me for handing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's an argument there. Uh, but I also went through with it. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we will catch you next time. Have a good night.